Ladies and gentlemen, a bit of a shadow has been cast over the show this evening. My colleague, Hugh, has received a death threat. That's right. Uh, it arrived this morning, uh, and it's addressed to dear sir or madam. And it goes like this. <laughs> you are a cow's son, bastard-sucking mental. <laughs> you die heavily in wet, throat-ripping everywhere. Don't like the Queen, this country. Spelt wrong. <laughs> For tear out lungs and replace with portable clothes, brackets, yes please, brackets. National service, who is she? Stripping scrotum through eerie, leery pastures of deep smell. <laughs> Pretty upsetting, as you can imagine. <laughs> I, I've tried to persuade Macaulay to take this threat seriously, but he insists on carrying on as if nothing has happened. Yeah, well, you see, I take the view that if you give in to these people, then... then you've given in. <laughs> yes, but at the very least, my colleague, I don't think it's safe for you to do your song this evening. Well, you see, if I don't do my song, then he's won and, and democracy might as well just take an early shower. <laughs> yes, but, but the, the, whoever he is, this, this, this M. Pontillo, I mean, he might... Uh, <laughs> you know, he might be in the audience now, armed. Uh, but, you see, someone's got to take a stand. Look, my colleague, I think we would all understand if you didn't do your song. You know, this Pontillo could be in the piano with a mobile rocket launcher, for all we know. <laughs> My colleague, you must not sing tonight. What a, what a sweet man. My colleague, I appreciate what you're trying to do, <laughs> you know, and I'm really touched by it, but, but my face is made up. You know, for, evil, <laughs> for evil to flourish, all that is required is for good men to spout clichés. I'm going on. <sighs> well, ladies, and in a broader sense, gentlemen, as you've heard, my colleague has bravely decided to do his song this evening. It's 30 pence postage and package down the bloody drain, isn't it? <laughs>